Hey everybody, it is February 5th, Saturday, and we're back with another vlog. And a package just showed up outside, and it looks to be in the shape of a C. Alright, let's check it out. It's a little unboxing. Gonna have to go and get a razor. So I'm gonna go nice and slow. Make sure I don't cut whatever's inside. It's kind of nice and easy. I don't like to go too deep with these unboxings and stuff. I don't want to cut myself either. much better option to go with a Sparco Sprint. I think everybody on the internet tells tells you that's the most uncomfortable seat to, to own. Sparco, you should step your game up. So guys, this thing's super light, so I'm just going to eat it right out of the box. Uh, it's holding it in my arm right now. Right the door. Take I think Mom's talking on the phone right now, but... She is. Brand new track dog seat. I wonder what came in the bundle. Alright, so here's my new seat. Track dog seat. Really happy with it. Uh, yeah, I went with the track dog because I think the price was was right. I really like the uh, shoulder holsters too. They're kind of like more winged out. Uh, makes it a little bit more comfortable to sit in. Uh, I like that it comes with like this seat cover, obviously you saw it before, the, um, the metal pan, like this seat cover is removable and it's also machine washable. So if you get any stains on it and stuff, you know, you could just, you could take this whole cover off and just throw it in the washing machine. Um, I like the little emblem too, it's a little bit more presentable, like everybody raves about the, uh, the Marad seat and I was going to buy a Marad seat, but the price is just a little bit too out of my price range. And, uh, I kind of like, I kind of like the seat. I don't know. I only have two small complaints with it, and one of the complaints isn't necessarily even with the seat. Um, but I will show you what the complaint I have with the seat. It looks like, you know, when they uh, made this upholstery, whoever like did, I don't know, they marked that with like magic marker or something like that. Like that's that's a big bummer to me to have it says like you know the size the width you know 17 um and it says td track dog you know on there so i don't know somebody just a little they could they could have just marked it with a piece of paper or something like that instead of just marking directly on the material i don't know but uh yeah so that's that and then on top of that i, I ordered a t-shirt and i ended up getting a license plate frame so that was kind of a bummer and a spoiler for like an RC car. So that definitely wasn't mine. I hope somebody didn't get my t-shirt. I don't even own an RC car. So uh, <laughs> I don't know, but stuck on the seat. Might even put it in today because I have the, uh, the brackets game too, We're right there. And uh, yeah, this might just go in the car today. But uh, I have some chores to do first. I got vacuum, so let me get to it. Nice and cover here. 
So I went back in my paper receipts and it turns out that I didn't even order a t-shirt and that they sent me this license plate frame just out of the goodness of their heart. So thank you, Track Dog. And uh, yeah, appreciate it. I didn't have a license plate frame for the front, so yeah, I guess it'll look a little bit neater now. Really gotta admit, despite like all the crappy weather that we've had the last couple of weeks, uh, here in New Jersey, today's a really nice day. I kind of wish I was outside earlier, you know, getting some stuff done. But, uh, the only thing that would make this day a little bit nicer is if the Miata just starts. Because it's been probably two weeks since I started it last, so we'll see. Alright, let's see. Oh my god. My door is seriously, yeah, my door is frozen shut. Wow. All right. Let's see how this goes. Nope. Saw that coming. All right, everybody. As you can see, we're, we got the car. We're back at the house. And uh, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and start rolling and take the seat out. First step. So, all right. Let's get our tools out and. Okay, so here we are. That's my nice neighbor over there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the seat. This is like the one hand test. Is if I put this down, if I will try to hold the camera through my legs and then say, easy as that. One hand, impossible. But uh, yeah, alright, I need a slider. Some forward. Seats out. It's crazy. It's like dirty already. All right, everybody. Now I'm gonna try to show like a hack job here. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but I put some double-sided 3M adhesive tape here. And I'm gonna rest the pan in. I'm gonna sit in it, and I'm just basically gonna adjust it forward or back. You know how I feel, more or less, where it feels comfortable. Um, after I get it to you know a, a place where I feel like it's it's good, then uh, I'm gonna take it out and then I'm gonna mark the holes that I have to drill, you know, through the back. I'm gonna like center it a little bit better, obviously. Uh, make sure it's make sure it's centered. Make sure it fits in the car and feels straight. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically the game plan because I don't have anybody here with me to. To mark these holes or anything with a with a marker while I'm sitting in here. That's the idea is that I could just kind of get in, uh, scoot the pan back and forth to, to where I feel it's it's comfortable with the steering wheel and um, once I get it to, to a good spot I'm just gonna basically get out, unbolt these because they're just finger tight right now and then I could take the whole thing out as one item and make my uh, make my little markings where I need to drill. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Alright, so as you guys can see, i got my little setup going over here. I have a little punch action going here. i got my drill. And, of course, i got like a little C-clamp. And uh, I have my measurements, of course, on the side. I basically just trace some lines. And I level those lines up to where I'm 
made my markings on my seat, clamped it, and then I made my guide holes in the back, and you can see a couple of small holes that I've already drilled. Now I'm going to set those holes out, and I made sure that when I made those holes that I didn't touch the threads on this bracket. I made sure that they were about as center as I could possibly make them. And now it's just a matter of taking this bracket off, opening those holes up a little bit, and uh, yeah, should bolt right on, no problem. All right, so it's important too when you're taking these holes out not to take them too far, because then you'll have to either put like a washer on the other side or do something, but this is, these are the uh, bolts that came in the kit. And here's the step bit that I plan on using to open these up. Now I've kind of, I think I've drilled them out to, what have I basically drilled these holes out to already? Like 3 tenths, 732s, something like, 730 seconds, something like that? I don't know. But really, uh, what's important is taking these and just kind of matching. Yeah, I'll show you. Like this bolt looks more or less like a like a 5 16 but even still, you guys can see that. Oh, it's going to zoom in. Probably won't, but you can kind of see what I'm getting at here. It's going to be this fatter portion, 5 16 but I'm going to step it out slowly anyway, just to make sure. You know, do it one at a time and just keep checking. Right on. Obviously our seat's not going to go in right away because we still got adults to install. So let's just set this to the side for a minute. It'd be nice if I could like just for one day maybe get a video done before the sun sets. But that's just the drawback I guess of having to work outside in the winter time. But you know, make do with what we got. good so far you know I gotta I'm proud of myself give myself a pat on the back hit the like button if you want to give me a pat on the back it's waving at my neighbor so right now get the harnesses here and I'm gonna reuse the stock hardware that I had for the uh, lower seat belt for both sides so let me go and get that hardware. I think I left it in the garage, so be right back. Thread it on. Now, it's nice to have it where it's not this tight. Because uh, you want the belt to be able to move a little bit. Maybe like that. You know, like you want to be able to just have it give a little bit so that it slips through the hole in the seat a little bit better and you can adjust it a little bit. So, cool. That works for me. One down, three to go. Belt in. I really impacted this one down just because I wanted to make sure it was safe and I'm pretty sure it's in a good position when the seat goes in. If it's not, I'll just readjust it. Alright, 
Now I gotta do the shoulder harnesses back to the harness bar. And uh, should be pretty good to go. All right. All right guys, excuse the nerdiness for me having my shoulder harnesses on like this, but I uh, just wanna show you guys, you wanna make sure that these links down here, this link, and this link, are gonna be like the narrow way when they go together because they're gonna have to fit inside that latch. So you don't wanna put these on backwards where you have like your right shoulder harness on your left and your left shoulder harness on your right and everything like that. So next I'm gonna show you how to tighten these down around your harness bar. Okay. So you can take your shoulder harness like so. You make sure your buckle is in front of your bar, okay? And you take the strap, wrap it around the bottom of your harness bar, and you're gonna go back through your buckle once, then twice, through the buckle one more time going backwards but I'm not gonna do that yet because I still have to really adjust these to what's comfortable for me so right now I'm just gonna leave it like this but once you have it adjusted to the length that you need it I would highly suggest slipping this right back through one more time just to kind of lock it in place all right I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the other one now sure if I'm gonna be able to drill a hole so we'll see. Going ahead right now, taking my uh, seat mounting bracket down. Just gonna finger tight these real quick. Oh man. This is such a good feeling. I didn't think I was gonna be able to get to this this weekend because uh, the seat didn't come like Thursday or Friday, and I was thinking, man, like this morning, like, I guess this is going to be a project for next weekend, and then it showed up at like 11 or something like that, so it's like sick. Alright, so, that's uh, bolted down finger tight, I'm going to impact that to the floor, and then we're going to mount the seat pan to it. this more or less. I probably shouldn't even feed these belts there because I have to put the seat cover on. So I'm just going to leave these to the side. But the game now is to line up our holes. Stop singing right now. So I had to step those holes out just one more size to 7 16 just to kind of see if they would thread in without any kind of binding or anything. Because I don't want to uh, cross any threads or you know, cut any threads or anything like that. So that seems good. Go finger tight. Next one going. 
you got like a lock washer, of course, and a regular washer. bought the seat. watching me no please keep watching me man that's tight all right i think i got it all right all right Woo! and then it's got these little nifty snappies snaps into place Sides. And then I think here and here. Just a couple more down by the bottom that I'm gonna have to stretch and everything, but yeah, that's more or less. I should have pulled that out before I tighten the seat down. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I think I could get it out. It's not wedged in there too bad. Alright guys, so I'm a little bit bummed and I'll show you guys why. I just got to the point where I'm installing the cover. And now I'm starting to wonder if I know why somebody wrote on the seat. And it's probably because it came out of a damage pile. Because this button snap is defective right there. That's not gonna snap on this side. So I'm a little bit bummed about that. You know, most people wouldn't give a shit, you know, but when you spend a 
and you know not to drop it but you know spend like eight hundred dollars on the seat you know you would expect there not to be writing on you know the cover you would expect all the snaps to work uh, I'm not really that picky but as far as aesthetics like that that bothers me more than than that you know but uh, I don't know I'll, sh I'll shoot like a shout out to track dog and maybe they'll exchange it or do something for me uh, but for now I mean that's a world of difference right there let me feed the other harness through my nose is like running it's so cold out we had that ice storm last night in the northeast that's awesome I have to adjust the latching link honestly and uh, I also have to feed the side belts through let me do that right now Alright, sitting in here, I've adjusted most of my uh, belts basically, yeah it seems basically perfect there. And if you've never used a latching link before, here's your main link, you're going to take your first shoulder belt, slide it through, second shoulder belt, slide it through, then you got your latch here, probably can't see it, you got your latch here, alright. So, let me see if I can hold this with my knees while I'm showing you. One. Two. Three. Tighten these shoulder straps down a little bit better. And we're good. Alright, the only thing is I didn't put the crotch belt in. And you really want that. Um, I don't recommend using the five point harness without it because you will submarine you'll slide underneath this belt's already pulling up for me tightening the shoulders it's already pulling up towards my ribs it's what you don't want you want it secured in the middle of you you want that crotch belt um i'm not really driving this car this week so i'm not really that worried about it but i am going to get around to it probably in my next video or if i don't video it just know that i'm going to be drilling the hole right in the floor i just thought it'd be hey crotch shot i just thought it would be uh appropriate to make sure that the seat was in first before I drill the hole this way I get a pretty good idea of where the belt should go so yeah but yeah totally stoked racing seat five point harness hey guys so I just wanted to give you an update it's been about a week and uh, I've been riding around in my new seat just like that just in the pan I got this like mossy oak two inch thick foam pad that I've been sitting on this thing's been killing my back the way it is right now but it is what it is it's just kind of what I have to deal with because uh when I reached out to track dog um their immediate response was like yeah we're, we're gonna ship you a new cover uh it's no problem we'll give you a return tag and we'll send it back um so Two days after that, I get a phone call myself saying that, like, yeah, they reached out to Ultra Shield, and they felt like the best mode uh, would be to give me a return label. I'll send my cover to Ultra Shield. They're gonna repair it, and then they're gonna send it back to me, which kind of sucks because it's not like I ripped it or like it's like a warranty situation or I wrote on it or anything like that. Like I kind of paid for a brand new seat. I was kind of hoping I was gonna get a brand new seat. Uh, but you know this is just what you have to deal with oh man look at my hair that's so funny I just kind of woke up and I started uh, I'm over here right now I'm, I'm about to start loading the video clips on for this particular video so uh, this is basically just the last clip so I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on with track dog and ultra shield and that I'm gonna be waiting a few weeks probably until I get my seat cover back who knows how it might be a month I don't really know they didn't really tell me so yeah uh <laughs> I don't know, positive review, negative review, I don't know, I'm just waiting, like, I, I don't want to, like, say anything negative until I get it back, you know, I'm going to give them both, like, their best effort to, uh, to do something about this, but, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm just going to finish editing, and, uh, hope you guys like this video, and, uh, remember, please smash that thumbs up, that like button, uh, subscribe for more videos, and, uh, I'll see you in the next one, thanks, bye.